Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my last few vlogs have been quite serious and I've decided that I wanted to do something a bit more fun and so an idea I had was to talk about this. This is my autograph book. I've had this book for about how long now? I think about seven years I think but I only really started using it as an autograph book five years ago so I thought why not sit down and do a vlog about it and talk about who's in here because a lot of these signatures are actors that I met through the Cambridge Shakespeare Festival but have since become really lovely friends so the first autograph I will introduce you to is this one now I tell a lie this was back in 2013 so a year before and these are from West End Stars Fra Fee and Gemma O'Duff O'Duffy so Fra Fee appeared as Cooper Rock in the 2012 film adaptation of Les Miserables and Gemma has appeared in many West End musicals and appeared as a prostitute in the film I did a West End Les Mis workshop that Jenna, Gemma was running and at the end I asked for Fra Fee and Gemma's autographs which was really lovely. And then the next signature I've got is this one. So this was about a year later and this was a, car, a signed card I got from Freddie Highmore. The secondary school I went to, Sawston Village College, had a cinema club and films that, that the club have made, including one that I was in as an extra, have had a lot of success outside of the UK and have even won prizes in Spain and Brazil. And I asked Freddie Highmore if doing Ch Charlie and the Chocolate Factory had put him off chocolate, if not, what was his favourite chocolate? So this is something I'm quite proud of and only the people who asked questions got given these. So it has a very special place here in the book. The first two, the next two pages are autographs I got when I went to see Othello back in 2014 at the Cambridge Shakespeare Festival. So they were from Ian Pink who played Iago, he was really good. The next one was from the lovely Miranda who played Desdemona and apparently it was the first time she had ever been asked for an autograph and I remember her saying at the time a surreal experience but nice too so I feel quite it feels really nice that um, to have done that for her and I hear since she has signed a few more autographs and she also got married not too long ago lucky lady and then the next one is just a piece of paper I ended up taking of when I went to see As You Like It. So here they are, holding them up to the camera. So As You Like It was actually the first Cambridge Shakespeare Festival show where I found the courage to go up and ask for some autographs at the end. And that's how I m met my lovely friend Adam for the first time, who I've talked about in the last couple of vlogs. So since then as you like it has become my favorite favorite play and will hold a special place for me where one of the reasons is that was how the first play i went and asked for autographs for from csf and i met some really lovely friends now these were from 12th night which i took my dad and my friend lavana to see that was really fun that was a really good production oh and this was from Elena who played Viola, really really good, she was really fabulous as Viola and then which one were these, these were from Merchant of Venice and I kept these for a while because they all had really lovely messages written in them which I really appreciated the actors doing next one's from 2015 and that was when I saw Titus Andronicus a good play to have seen once not going again but it was how i met my good friend harry anton who has recently finished playing beth with antic disposition and michael patrick or mick who's a part of the current rsc season 
and these were this was from the first time I went to see the Merry Wives of Windsor and that was how I met my really lovely friend Kate so these was from Love Labour's Lost the only Shakespeare play to be a completely original story and then this one's from these are from Romeo and Juliet so Max and Holly who played Romeo and Juliet in that are now a really lovely couple but I remember going backstage after Romeo and Juliet and the first person I saw was Max and we got chatting I said oh I remember you from Merchant of Venice last year and he said oh I remember meeting you too and then as we were chatting I think there was a school group on the other side because I was backstage and this was on the onstage area they were calling for Max because they wanted a group photo so they were saying things like Romeo where art thou Romeo to which Max said just a minute that when Max came round he introduced me to the other actors which was really really lovely of him I was quite lucky that year because I then got some lovely things from Macbeth which Max and Adam were in along with Kate, Harry and lovely Lexi Parker and Rob too and then this was from Time of Athens and then this was from A Midsummer Night's Dream and that still holds as the best A Midsummer Night's Dream I've ever watched biggest reasons were because of the girls literally kind of beating up the boys and when the Pyramus and Thisbe bit was happening a heron th flew over the stage twice so that kind of made it extra memorable and then this was from There Much Ado About Nothing and then from in 2016 I went to see Romeo and Juliet at the Garrick Theatre and stage door was heaving kind of wish I hadn't done it actually but some people were really nice and passed over my autograph book for Richard Madden that's his signature and Lily James to pop the signatures in so I feel really lucky to have grabbed those two because they are they are two people I really look up to and admire hmm. and then this these were from Dean and Anna O'Bein who I met when Anna O'Bein did a soprano workshop so that was really lovely because Anna is such a beautiful soprano. I might pop a link in the description box of when she sang Love Never Dies at a concert. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful voice. And then in here we've got 20, later on in 2016, we've got Comedy of Errors and Henry V. Uh, <laughs> and then this was from as you like it that was a really good year and tip my friend tim weston was touchstone very very funny and this was from winter's tale oh, and this was when i went these are signatures from aladdin and i was really happy that night to have got dean john wilson who was aladdin really amazing and such a talented guy and just such a friendly human being it really meant a lot to me to meet him and get his autograph so this was 2017 that started off with all's well that ends well then we here we've got hamlet and antony and cleopatra or tony and cleo as i like to say and who's this one? Oh, that's um my antony and cleopatra as well Ooh. ones that's upside down hmm Oh, what's that from? And then that was a, that was from a Midsummer Night's Dream. Midsummer Night's Dream, that's what it was. So that was when my friend Adam was playing Demetrius, and that was really good. And Flora was Titania, and Angus was um, <clears throat> and Angus was Oberon. Though his version of Oberon was really interesting. Though I remember in that one, I was sitting in the front row with my dad, and Adam was playing a uh, flute who plays Fisbee as well as Demetrius and he quite literally kind of laid one of his breasts because he couldn't pop it and then handed it over to me and I actually kept the balloon for quite a few years and then that was from Merry Wives of Windsor the year that they did that and we're now into 2019 this was from Cymbeline the first play I saw that year Merchant of Venice so I saw Merchant of Venice because it felt important to me to see the show that Tim was in because 
he had come to see me and welcome to Thieves. So it was kind of returning the debt. And then I got a couple of signatures for Pericles. And I'm afraid that's it. There are still lots and lots and lots and lots of pages left. So I can't wait to see how this book gets filled up and who um, signs it. I'm hoping that when the RSC comes to Canterbury early next year, I'll ask the actors to sign this because I've already got the programme and it just might be really nice to reconnect to some of them who I met when I was in Stratford-upon-Avon doing the RSC Student Summer School. So I think that concludes the vlog and I just want to finish by doing the first few lines of All the Worlds a Stage, which is a great speech. All the worlds a stage and all the men and women merely players. They have their entrances and their exit and one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being seven ages.